Hello guys, welcome by this new tutorial. I'm sorry for my absence for the last couple of weeks, but I've been very busy and I barely have time to do tutorials for you. I also have a lack of inspiration on what to show you guys, but uh, today I've got a new tutorial for you uh, ready to go. So what I want to do is I want to export a logo from Photoshop into Cinema 4D and this process is not known by really much people and I think it's a really good one and it's really easy so let's go on and create this in Cinema 4D this logo it's not going to, going to be exactly the same but it looks really cool now I already got some sort of a final result so I'm going to show you that right now if you go to pacificwars.com you'll see this flash animation going on and this is basically what you can do with this method I I basically exported it from Photoshop into Cinema 4D and I animated it a little bit and a nice global illumination to it um, but yeah, this is uh, what you can create, which looks well, pretty awesome. So let's go on and go into Photoshop and let's export this logo. What we need to do is we need to have a selection of your logo. And that's the most easiest thing is, is what I have right here. Um, I have one layer with every attribute. And as you can see, I had more layers. You can merge them by hit and by hitting Ctrl E that will merge the layers to one layer and you can basically select that one and export it as a work path. You need Photoshop for this but this is kind of logical. Okay so um, what you need to do is Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of your layer of, of the layer of your logo and it will put a neat selection around your logo which is what you want to have because these are the paths that, that Cinema 4D will use to extrude. Now right click on the selection and hit make work path. Uh, the tolerance is going to be 0, 0, 5 that's uh, that's a good hit OK and um, well it, it looks pretty good and 0.5 is the least you can get so yeah you have to do this but this looks pretty good so what we're gonna do now is go to file and export and hit paths to illustrator once we have this we can select work path there and we hit OK uh, the save pop dialog box will pop up and as you can see I already practiced this tutorial um, but uh, you can have your logo there so I'm gonna just save it over that one. Um, so once we have exported that .ai file, we can head over to Cinema 4D. And what we need to do here is hit File, Open, and open that PW logo .ai file. So open that AI file, and this will pop up: Adobe Illustrator import. Uh, the skill is going to be one and connect splines that's going to be checked uh, just default features now just for um, really easy purposes I'm going to center it right there so hit zero zero there and hit apply and we'll go into the center of there so it's really easy working with it now we have the spline and that's basically what you what you want so we're going to hit extrude nerves drag PW logo into the extrude nerves and as you can see we have a pretty cool logo going on here it's a little bit thin so I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit um, that's uh, that's better well, as you can see uh, it looks awesome if you add a global illumination here real quick and we're going to load in the gold. I, I really love the gold material that I use in my bullet time tutorials or bullet tutorial. Um, I really love these materials. I can do so much with them. So, yeah, go download that package. It's pretty cool. 
Um, we're gonna rotate a little bit around it. My left is really slow. I'm really apologizing again. And we're gonna hit Control R for rendering, and we'll pause this video till it's done. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot something. If you use global illumination, you'll have to have a sky. Um, yeah. So import that sky. Well, I don't want the white of the sky. So what we need to do is right click on the sky, it's Cinema 4D tags, compositing, and uncheck scene by camera. That way you can't see the camera, but it's affected on the objects in your scene. So that's a pretty awesome feature. Really use it a lot. And if you use this, by the way, and you export as a PNG with the alpha channel checked on, you can have the picture with a transparent background with the global illumination effect on your project so that's a really cool feature and I really recommend using it because a white background doesn't make any sense however <laughs> we're gonna render out and I'm gonna pause this video till it's done because my laptop is really slow so it's done rendering uh, it took me one minute and seven seconds that's I'm embarrassed embarrassed by my own laptop never buy an Acer Okay, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can see what this can do to export a Photoshop file into Cinema 4D. It's a really, really cool feature. really recommend using it. So yeah, that was it for this tutorial, guys. And as you might have no noticed, you can view this video in 1080p. I'm recording this video on my TV, so that's might be a little bit the reason why it's kind of slow. And... Um, I have also a new microphone, so uh, it's all for the better quality of the tutorials and more stuff. So, <laughs> okay guys, uh, thanks for watching and please leave comments. If you like this video, uh, I'll put up more Cinema 4D tutorials. If you have any suggestions or requests on tutorials, please mail them. I have a lack of inspiration. If you send me some feedback, I oh, might do a tutorial. So, yeah, you can email me and I'll look into it. Look if I can create it and uh, try to help you. Okay, so I'm uh, going to see you later, guys.